It's our psychedelic poster, our tutorial. We're going to be working on the same file. I want you to follow it with uh, the uh, colors, the fonts, the warping of the copy, and admit, just to make sure that you understand the premise and the guides on getting this completed. Next week, we'll actually doing your, you'll be working on your own poster. So we're going to follow this tutorial, and we'll go ahead and go ahead and start. Now, this tutorial is kind of based on um, Art Nouveau and um, and pop art. So moving along with the instructions. We're going to create a new document, file new, 11 by 17 inches. Okay, make sure you've got inches, not pixels. 180 pixels per inch resolution, CMYK color mode. All right, we just have a background layer. We're going to start with creating guides. Um, make a new layer, naming it guides. We're going to use the brush tool around 30, somewhere in there. Okay, hard edge is fine. Grabbing our color, let's set this to a medium gray, light gray. And kind of following along with the tutorial, you're going to be making lines to, to kind of place these elements in here. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so going untitled, I'm going to kind of go in here and come on my guides layer and click and drag. And it doesn't have to be perfect, just kind of stick it in there. You don't always modify it. Now I'm going to do one of these. Start down here and go up. Let's see, we've got a little something here. We're gonna have a couple lines. Oop, I didn't like that and that. Let's go this again. One, two, three, and four and five. I already had a six in there. Okay, so kind of like that. All right, there's your guides. Next up is the, um, creating a vector shape in the background. Grabbing our rectangle tool. I want a shape. That's I'm like, something's wrong here. There we go. Shape. There's my fill. No stroke. No edit, um, corners. Um, rounded corners. I mean, click and drag, and now we've got a shape. Okay. That looks a whole lot better. Making the rectangle rounded, or the rectangle... <laughs> Let's go and put this below the guides. Okay. Now we're going to take um, and make like a border out of shape too, but a path. All right, going here again. We're going to make a path this time. This time we are actually subtracting the front shape. And we do want the rounded corners of 60. Let's see. All right. Next up is kind of making the border here. I'm going to go ahead and click in here and using my little plus sign there on my cursor, I'm going to click and drag and just make a simple shape like this. It is subtracting from the rectangle. All right. But to finish this off, we do need to make sure again that you're subtracting this time. All right. And we're going to go ahead and get rid of properties. The fill, I guess we could change here too. I'm going to go ahead and change here and do it this way. We're going to add an adjustment layer, okay? A solid color, an orange, and hit OK. And now we've got two shapes, rectangle and a color fill layer, and we have our border. Next up is copy. Grabbing our text tool. We're on the color fill layer, and that's fine. Once I make a text tool, uh, a text layer, a line of copy, it'll make a new layer above it. So I'm going to go up here and use Hobo. Now, I do want you to use, even when you go to your own um, poster next time, use a bold font, preferably um, nothing thin, nothing with serifs or, you know, thin serifs, just so it works better when you warp it. It's more readable, okay? Um, I'm going to stick with 150 right now. And my color is going to be the same color as the border. So I just click here and change the color. And now everything's going to be in all caps. And I'm going to type in Lou Media. Lou Media. Come on. Okay, we've got the check mark up here that you can click on. There's going to be um, in the slides a couple different ways of doing everything. So I'll do the, the check mark up here, grab my move tool, 
and pull it into place. Things are kind of jumping around, so I might have, let's see, a view menu, I think. Yeah, I don't want it to snap, so I'm going to turn this off so I have more control over movement. All right, I'm going to stick it right there. I'm going to use the Transform tools, Command-T, or right here, Free Transform. And you've got Scale and Rotate, and Warp will be here either, too. But right now, just transforming. You do not have to keep anything in proportion. I'm just going to jump it up so it's kind of filling the area. All right, and then next step is going to be transform the text into shapes. So proof your copy before you go to next, this next step, okay? We're going to go to the type menu. Whoops, hold it. Deselect this whole thing. Okay, now type menu and convert to shape. And I believe there's another the command for that too, is command... Um, I'm going to, have to go down here to find out. Convert the text to shape. Type menu, convert to shape like we're doing right here. Okay. Or you can do command click on the text layer and make this convert to shape. Of course, now it's no longer text. So if you see a typo, undo, fix your typo, and come back to this point. All right. Now we're going to warp it. So now we've got a shape layer in a sense. We're going to go to Edit, Transform, and Warp. And I'm going to move the corners first. And I got the corners in pretty good shape. So I'm going to go ahead and start moving all the curves. Okay. So that worked out pretty well. And there we go. I'm going to grab the, the um, move tool and be okay. All right. So the warping is fine. So you want to add all the lines of copy, just kind of following this around, typing it in, proofing it, make sure it's the right color, of course, um, transform it, scale it, warp it, and get all the copy in here. Okay. And that should look like this. And if I take off my guides, that's what it looks like. Now this next thing is outlining your copy, putting a stroke on it. I've done it once, but I'm gonna do it one more time, I think with special guest. So let me go and add some stroke values in here. And I'm gonna go in here and move this down so I can see my pages a little bit better. There we go. Stroke values. All right, so this is a series of things too. We're going to do it with special guests. Again, make sure, you know, when you label everything, and this happens really easily when you're doing copy, but great to label all of your layers. Name them properly. Adding strokes to copy. Okay, select the layer with special guests. Go to the effects bottom icon here on the bottom, and you're going to go down to stroke, and I'll pull that up if I can. Nope, I can't, but it's a stroke. Okay, pulling this in, we're going to use the same color as our copy right now. So if this is not the right color, just go ahead and click here and go click on your um, background or any any type that we've got in there because it will change your colors. Okay. Hit all right here. Hit OK here. We're going to go to like 10 as a stroke size and hit OK. And of course it's not very readable right now, but we do have the effects on at this point. Okay. Next step is we're going to fill it with white. Now I've got white over here already, but of course you can hit your colors and, and flip-flop the foreground and background colors. And with the foreground colors, you can do the fill. Um, actually, let's do some commands here. So with this selected, if you do Command Delete, it fills with white. If you do Option Delete, it fills with the foreground color. So Command Delete for background colors. Okay, and then again, if you're working on the PC, you're doing the Alt and Control keys instead, right? Okay, so we've got that set so far, but we're going to blend this with Multiply so the white actually blends with the background color. So there's our two 
layers with our outlines, our strokes on them. We're going to make it look like a silkscreen process because a lot of these posters at this time were done by silkscreen.